family, friends, fellow gamers, educators, and students, and also our veterans. Welcome to Grumpy Gnome Gaming. I am Grumpy Gnome. Let's get some grump on. With some Banish, baby, here we go. It is spring break, so I'm going to enjoy a lot of recording time now. We are going to load a new game. And I will show you all the statistics to this game here in a minute. But we are actually going to be building the town of Solvang. It is a Danish town in Southern California by, well, if you're a land lover, it's by Santa Barbara. If you are a nautical individual, it is by Point Conception. Here we go. Let's uh, load it up. Oh, nuts on a biscuit. I think I hit the... Uh, the auto load. I didn't want it load auto load because I actually did something in this game. So maybe we will turn it around here in just a second. Come on, load up. Do, 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 do. Anyway, this town is going to have a, okay, pause. Are we, I, I don't even know if we are paused. I got to find my bearings. There we go. There's our peeps. What I did with this map is I've already inverted it. And that's why I wanted to give you the, the original load to show you what it looked like. I don't want to go, ah, doggone it, I'm going to go back and do it just because I don't want to confuse anybody. So let's go to load. Let's go ahead and go to the, um, come on, this one, load it up. And now you're going to see what this map looks like from the very beginning. And if you want to follow along, you can go ahead and invert your map as well. But we're going to have a new north in here. And the reason for that is because we have one lake. And there actually is one lake by Solvang. So this is the original start right here. And before we get too much into it, let me go ahead and show you the statistics to this. And that's going to be right here. So I did name the town Solvang. These numbers right here, this spells Solvang without the vowels. If you had the vowels in there, we would have too many of the um, too many digits to work with. But the S is the 19th letter, and then we got the L, which is 15. V is 22, and then we got the N, which is the 14th, and then the G. Is it a G? Yeah, the G at the end is a seven, and that's. Solvang spelt out. Uh, for uh, my terrain type, I chose plains with a lake. And as you can already tell, we're working on some very barren land here. My terrain size is small only because I want to kind of get the map filled up. I don't anticipate more than 10 episodes. So we're just going to try to build see what we can get done. Climate is actually pretty fair. Southern California does have a very fair climate, uh, if, if not a, a perfect climate, but we're going to call it fair. Uh, the disasters are off only because we really don't get a lot of disasters in California. The two that we would probably experience in Solvang, you wouldn't know, not even a tsunami. Tsunami wouldn't reach it but a, um, an earthquake, and this game, this game has nothing that simulates an earthquake. We don't get tornadoes here. Knock on wood. So anyway, starting condition is grass hard. And the reason I chose grass hard is because Solvang is in a meadow. It's a very, very open meadowy area, almost prairie-ish. I didn't choose Prairie for this game only because I didn't want all the covered wagons and stuff. But a little story behind the town of Solvang 
is apparently three educators back in 1911 purchased Solvang for, did they mention a price? I don't think they mentioned a price, but they bought 9,000 acres of land and they wanted to build an artsy community. And so they did. Okay, let's see. We're going to have a main street. And the first thing I'm going to do is show you the map here. Now, doo -doo 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 -doo, here we go. Now, you'll see this map, uh, this lake right here. This lake, we are going to relocate it into this corner up here. And the reason we're going to do that is because the lake is going to represent Lake Kachuma, which is right in that Santa Bar in that Solvang area. And actually, the town of Solvang was purchased from the Spaniards. And there was an existing mission on the grounds, which is why not only are we going to have a medieval theme going on, we're also going to have a Spanish theme going on. And I've already got a couple areas picked out for that. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to invert my map to put this lake in this corner up here. So bear with me. And what's going to help me a lot is if I can actually put a crosshair in already. Uh, I don't know if I want to go straight for stone roads. I'm probably going to go ahead and start with the um i'm probably going to go ahead and start with the um dirt roads and then eventually we will work our way up into the stone roads now what i'm doing right now is just laying out a crosshair that i can work off of and it's this is going to be a totally different build than what I normally do because I'm probably going to choose large swaths of area and I'm going to designate certain districts. Let's go ahead and bring that lake up into that corner right there. Just like that. See, so now I got Lake Kachuma up here. Uh, there's really no restrictions to this. I do want to take advantage of probably the Spanish, the build a mission theme here. And I'm actually going to build my mission out here on this area of land because the mission isn't really in the downtown area. My downtown area is going to be right here. And this is going to be all the arts and crafts and restaurants and things of that nature. So let's um, let's go ahead and figure out how we're going to get our little people here busy. A couple things I'm probably going to get started on right away are fishing. Because I don't know how quickly we can get some type of a node going and i really don't want to do a node right in the center of town you know we may cross the creek over here but and we are going to get trading going on we're probably going to do some trading with the natives because the chumash indians are right there in that area as well but there's going to be our initial crosshairs. So let's go ahead and work with that. I'm going to go ahead. This is something I totally never, 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 ever do. And why is, why is my screen so dark? I can't figure that out. You know, do I need some more light? I'm not going to worry about light right now. Okay, I'm going to get a couple fishing docks going. So I'm, right away, I'm going to drop a, a fishing dock down here into this corner. And I think right there is where that one's going to go. And then I'm also going to go ahead and put a fishing dock right up here 
and then kind of connect these two together. So my second fishing dock is going to go right now to Ching and maybe out a little bit. No, in a little. Boom, boom, right there. That almost looks kind of good in a kind of good kind of way, I guess. So cha-ching, make it happen. So we are going to have fish coming in uh, pretty right away-ish, if that's proper English. And here we go. Let's go ahead and get our, our windows up. I'm going to do a different profession window this time. I'm actually going to go with the very small one. Let's bring them over to this corner. This is our newspaper right here. That's going to tell us what's going on. And professions. This is just to keep the laborers and the, the builders organized. Okay. Now, I want to go ahead and I think I'm going to build a road going straight up here. What I'm going to do is box this whole area in with roads. But I don't want to go road crazy yet. Let's look at the sets that we're going to use. I can already tell you I'm going to try to pull as much as I can from the medieval town. Now, granted, that's not given us a lot. Uh, the barns and storage, I've used these before. They're basically just... Um, they are nicer looking vanilla barns that's basically that's the best way i can describe it vanilla barn looks a little bit nicer and it comes in all different sizes 6000 capacity for a medium the medium is one i use a lot and then of course the large is 8000 capacity uh for resources you know what? It gives us a tavern. Well, I don't know. Of course, they're going to put the tavern right in the front there. And we're going to have the medieval blacksmith. We're going to have a medieval tailor. And anything that we can pull out here that's going to be artsy. Clay pit's probably going to go a little bit outside of town. But we do want to get the pottery shop in the town. We also, uh, the kiln. There is no ring of unhappiness, so it might not be uncommon to actually have that in town. Salt mine. Yeah, we'll go ahead and play with that. That's probably going to go on the outskirts. A water mill. That, I don't even know what the water mill makes. It doesn't really say so, does it? Oh, flour. Okay, that's our granary. We can deal with that. And then a windmill also makes flour. Oh, we're going to definitely use the windmill. Because there is there's a very big windmill influence going on in Solvang. So, okay, we talked about some of the history of the town. And... I think what we're going to start doing is we're going to try to get some stuff going here. I may want to node this just so we get a little bit of resources coming in. And maybe hop the river over here. I don't know. I got to find a good river crossing. I don't think I'm going to keep my cart this time. That's something I normally don't do either. And I need to know, um, I'm expecting Marlene and Saskia to drop in on chat. If for some reason I don't answer you, that's probably because I don't see you. I've been messing around with my OBS to try to get Baldur's Gate working again. I did have a request from Alex. He wants to see some more Baldur's Gate action. And so I went ahead and I pre-generated a, a party for that. I'm going to do something totally different, but we don't need to talk about that right now. 
I think, I don't think this was my crosshair right here. I think I came off of this point to cut this in half. Yeah, that's what I did. So ignore this road for now, because I have no idea why I put that down. The road that I wanted to come off of was right up here. Right there. And bring it down. And then we're going to go right to, let's go right to there with it. Boom. And then I believe we are going to play off of that road right there. Nope. Oh, right there. That was it right there. Boom. Go across. And how's that going to look for my bridge? Well, there's a nice little creek plank right there. We can make that work. So let's go ahead and do that. I really probably should have taken the time to pre-plan this out, but you know what? It's all good. Right now I'm slated for two hours of record time. Is that kind of in the center? Maybe kind of not sort of. And you know what? Maybe we'll just dedicate some of this area, some of this land to um, like maybe outside nodes up here up over here let's see what we can throw in and we're probably going to go with some smaller builds so i'm going to initially use the medieval and i want to use the settlers because the settlers work pretty well for us and it gave us the gatherer which i can already see is too big that's, that's much more area than I wanted to dedicate. So what I'm probably going to do with the gatherer is maybe hop the river over here. And build it probably off of the road that's coming in. That might be the best thing for us to do. I'm not really going for perfection here. I just want to get something that's aesthetically pleasing. And of course, along with the gatherer, we can go ahead and get a hunter going in there too. It looks, is the hunter the same size? No, the hunter looks smaller. Okay, so we'll play with the gatherer first. And then we'll get the hunter in. So what I want to do is I want to cross my river over here. So I got to see where we're going in at, I guess right to there, and then bring it across to there. This is going to be a totally unorthodox build, and um, we'll just see how it works. Because all of this is going to get either deleted or canceled before we even start. So settlers, let's go ahead and grab that um, gatherer which is right here. The gatherer was a bigger one. I don't know. And are there different facets to this? Flip, flip. Yes, there are. Okay, what is the most Solvangy looking thing we can find here? What the heck is that? Uh, 51 people accepted my invitation. Wow. <laughs> okay. I, uh... I don't know for those of you who watch me that know this, but I did get my Facebook account hacked. So my faith in Mark Zuckerberg has totally faded. And I no longer use Facebook as a means of communication. So my primary source for reaching people actually is LinkedIn. LinkedIn. Yeah, I said that. Okay. I think what we're going to do here, I, yeah, I do want to, let's see if it jumps. You guys always know that I like to see if it jumps or not. So I'm right on the creek edge there and I'm right on the mountain edge to the right. So I'm going to plant this right here. So cha-ching and boom. No, it did not appear to jump which is a good thing. So we'll work with this. Actually, do I want to go one more over? 
no, you know what? I think that's pretty that's pretty center right there. Now let's grab our hunter and we're gonna go on the opposite side. So flip flip and let's see where this is right there. I didn't even count to see how many spaces we had. One, two, three. Nope, that's green already. Okay, so one, two. Yep, right there. Come on up. Boom, right to there. And, oh, we wanted to get the right facade for this guy, too. I like that one. That's happy. And, okay, there's that. So we're going to go one, two, and then it should open green. Yes. Boom, boom, boom. Boom, plant it right there. Okay, now we got a gatherer put in. I'm going to put the gatherer on hold. We got a hunter put in. We're going to put the hunter on hold. Uh, we need to get some housing action going on here, and we need some barn action. So, what I'm probably going to do is with only those two buildings, an herbalist. How big is the herbalist? Oh my gosh, the herbalist is huge. Oh, wow. Maybe put the herbalist behind the, um, that's not going to go in nicely. You know what? We'll squeeze the herbalist in maybe over here and then we can get the barn across the street from the herbalist. I think that's what's going to, that'll work for us. So let's go ahead and do the flippy thing here. Flip, flip over there. Come across over here, right to thar. Put you in, and I'm going to put a pause on you. And let's go ahead and grab a storage facility. Do, 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 do. Now, there are trees in the... Um, in the higher elevations around Solvang. But actually, Solvang itself is in, um, ooh, that's huge. That, that's, that is bigger than I wanted. 3,200, oh my gosh, that's garbage. What does the medieval one, uh, the medieval one I think was better Barns and, and we want the medium-sized one, I think, for six thousand. Even that is huge. Let's flip, flip, flip. I just want to butt it up to this. Um, yeah, see, we can even go down one more, which is going to give us a five thousand storage. But now it's going to fit nicely next to that. I think that's what we're going to do. So let's go ahead and put you in right there. Cha-ching. Make that happen. Put that on pause. Okay. I think we're good to go. I think we are. We got our four buildings put in here. That's going to be our node. I'm probably going to go ahead and put in that creek plank bridge already because we are going to need access to it. right there and I'm going to take the road out because once again I don't want them building that uh, for housing uh, we're actually going to do something different for housing I may or may not put the housing inside the node we might go outside and just have them commute but that'll be determined Okay, let's get rid of this road over here. Make it smaller. Uh, now come over more. Boom, there we go. Grab that and cha-ching. Make the road go away. Boom. Okay, now there's no reason for anybody to go over in that area. Now, I want to start laying out some of our downtown area. So you guys get to get into my head today and see how I actually lay out a village. We're using the medieval stuff in the downtown area. 
And I'm going to start with a very unorthodox house or building. And that is going to be a blacksmith because, doggone it, I am always running into a crisis when it comes to blacksmiths. Now, do we want the blacksmith there? Or do we put it on the outside and put some more artsy stuff in the middle? And I wish I had Marlene and Soski here to, to help me out with this. I'm also thinking about maybe making a little square right here in the center with a well. But I think I'm going to ixnay that idea. Okay, let's look at some of our buildings that we have. We've got a bakery. We've got a butcher shop, a water tower. Water tower is going to go on the outside. A medieval pond. I'm not going to use a pond right away. The apiary is probably going to go outside of the town also. A creamery. Creamery may go inside. And of course, the smoking stuff that we have here and the salty stuff is going to go by the fishing docks. So let's go ahead and start with a bakery. I thought I had a tavern here also. Well, there's, we're not going to use the medieval cathedral, and I'll show you why here. Boom. The, it's freaking huge. I am going to instead put the mission off to the side over there. Uh, an apothecary, that's our hospital. There's another clinic, which is a hospital. Okay, I'm not really concerned with this stuff right now. The school's going to go more into the residential area. So let's start off with a bakery and a... What are these special? Oh, and these are shop like fruit vendors, grain vendors, a place where they sell stuff. I don't understand how that works. A general store. I've never used these before, so this is all new for me. General store. Are there different facets? No, there's not. So I'm thinking maybe we should put down the stores on the main street, have the manufacturing stuff a little further outside, and then these are just stalls. Oh, a medieval food store. Now notice this has a capacity. So does this work as a barn? I don't know. But let's go ahead. You know what? And what are you? You're the stall. You're the store. So I'm going to put the store right here because it looks like it's got a ring of influence. And I'm going to guess that this probably works very similar to a. That it's probably going to work very similar to a market. OK, now what can we put next to the store? Well, a general store. What is this? It's a food store. Well, by golly, maybe a general store should go right next to it. Does that, that almost looks the same. You know what? I'm going to put general store on this side of the street. Okay. Once again, I've never used these I've never used these um, buildings before, so I have no idea how they're going to work. A butcher shop. Well, butcher should probably go next to food. So I'm going to drop you in right there. So now we got a meat store and a food store. And what else do we got? We got us a tailor. I think I'm going to put my tailor. 
What are you? A grain vendor. A fruit vendor. Okay, do we really need all these weird buildings? And what were you again? You're meat. I think I'm going to go fruit. What are you, though? You're a food store. Why don't we go fruit? Because I'm going to get my the, um, the meat thing a little further outside. I may even drop a second meat one in down here when, for the um, hunter. But for now, let's go ahead and delete this one. Because we're still talking foods of a different nature. So here, come up here, and oh my gosh, that's not where we were. That is not where we were. No, 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 oh my gosh. Did I just lose what we were looking at? I sure did, doggone it. Was I in the wrong menu? Oh my gosh, what's going on? Was I in this menu? No. Oh, come on, people. Medieval stuff. Medieval stuff. Okay, I was in this market area stuff. Oh my gosh, do I want to drop in a different... You know what? There are stores. We're going to play it. We're going to play it just like Solvang. So let's go ahead and put the fruits vendor next to the food. Boom. And then I'm going to go ahead and take the, um, the grain next to the fruit. Right there. And then we're going to grab, I want to put the, the butcher right over here. But he won't go in because of the cart. And then I'm probably, oh my gosh, we have a an ale. How big are you? Oh, you are small. You know what? We'll probably put small stuff on this side over here. And behind these, we're going to build the houses. Because the way Solvang is laid out, there's like two or there's a main road that goes through. And then there's two more roads that have the shops on them that parallel the main road. And then you've got at least one that runs at a 90 degree angle to those so that you can kind of see where we're getting this whole boxed in thing going on. Food. I'm almost wondering if we need all of these, but you know what? We're going to play it out. I don't know why a hardware store. Aren't you the hardware store? You're a general store. Okay, well, hardware, let's put that over here next to the general. And what were you? You were the grain vendor. You are the hardware. And so we still need... A food stall. You've got a smaller ring of influence. And you've got a ring of influence. And I'm hoping that your ring of influence is only because you create happiness. So I'm going to flip you around. And we're going to actually put you in the middle of town. We might actually put a couple of these in. One, two, three. I wonder if we should... Yeah. I'm going to, I'm going to give this guy some... A nice bigger spot.
I think. Let's try it right there, because I want to build a road around him, sort of. We're not going to build you yet. The Butcher. I think the Butcher was going to go out over here. But, see, once again, he won't go in with that cart right there. And I think I'm going to put my tailor on the outside of the butcher. And then I'm going to go ahead and... A cloth vendor. Okay, we'll bite. We'll put you in right there. And then, do we have a blacksmith dude here? No, we don't. Okay, well, I guess that's going to be our little downtown area right here. Probably should have put another building or two out over here. But you know what? We can always do that later. Now we got to get our producers. This is where they're working. So, the next street up. Oops. Ah! The next street up is going to be where they're going to do all of their working. I guess. So, medieval, medieval... Uh, medieval stuff here. Let's go for food producers. Um, and why don't we start, well, by golly, a butcher shop, a bakery. Is this necessary? I don't know. But anyway, here we go. Let's start off with the bakery. Because... Doggone it, we gotta have a bakery. I'm trying to think. One, two, three of those. One, two. We could probably put those further over there. Why don't we start building into this way? So I'm gonna go with the cleanest to the dirtiest. How big are you? You're big. Okay. Yeah, you're not going to fit in town. You're going to have to go out of town. But here's our bakery. And our bakery is going to look like that. So we'll put that right here in the corner. Ooh, it's larger than the first building. Okay. And only one facet there. So bakery is going to go in there. So cha-ching. And then let's go ahead and grab a butcher shop. And we'll put the butcher shop right there. And a water tower. How big is the creamery? Ooh, the creamery is also big. Okay, that's got to go outside someplace. Or maybe we'll put the larger ones over here. No, that doesn't look nice. That almost fits in nicely there. But I think we're going to go a little bit more out. The next row is probably going to be housing. Let's see what we can do here. The smokery stuff, like I said, that's going to go over by the fishing area. And, of course, the water tower. Water tower is not that huge. Maybe we'll put the water tower in town. And I'm probably going to grab the perfumery also. Yeah, we can actually put the water tower in town. And then let's see if we can find that perfumery. Because that might be kind of cool too. So you're going into town. I'm going to put a pause on you. I'm going to put a pause on you. I'm going to put a pause on you. 
I'm pausing you and we can already lay out the next row of that. Now, the only thing that I'm probably not going to do because I've never done it. You know what? Maybe I could do it. I have never done the multiple story housing in here. But I know that I need to leave one room or one space to the left and one space to the right if I wanted to get the. Um... So let's start off with a single story. Single story, if I went right there, actually one space over from there. And there are many different facets of this that I, I don't even think I'm going to concern myself with them. I think we're just going to lay them down. So we got one here. One for the house. Okay, come over here. One for the house, one for the road. Boom. Come over here. One for the house, one for the road. No, two for the road. Because remember, the second story of that is going to go there. So there's got to be like three spaces between each of these. Okay, let's um, let's try this again. Do, 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 do. Medieval, this one, this one, and this one. So then we're going to go one, two, three, boom. Come over here. One, two, three, boom. Come over here. You know what? Maybe go on this side. Come over one, boom, and then one, two, no, there we go. One, two, three, boom. Okay, put a pause on them. Do, 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 do. I don't think I'm actually going to go for a very large population. I just want to have a little happy town. Okay. I think that's good for now. Oh, one thing that we're going to need is a stockpile. Maybe a single row stockpile right here. Man, a stockpile is going to really mess up our town. It's going to make it ugly. But you know what? We probably got it. But against our better judgment. Ooh, that's a good point right there. Okay, let's get a stockpile put in. I think I'm just going to put a single row stockpile right in here. And that's going to... So we can already play off of our cart a little bit. And come over one. Come over this way. I don't want it to hit. So boom. Right there. There's our stockpile. And if we have to, we may even go a little bit over in that direction. So let's go ahead and start collecting some resources. I'm going to get rid of the roads because I don't want them to build the roads right now. And then we'll fill in other buildings as we go along because we're going to want a school in town. After all, they were educators that found it. Doggone it, man. I don't know if my chat is working. So Marlene and Saskia, you guys are late for the show. Please, please, please stop by and just tell me that everything's working. <laughs> Even if it's not working, just lie to me. Tell me it's working. Okay, there we go. Now, let's prioritize what we're going to build. 
we're probably gonna want to put in you know what i just thought about for this large of a of a family build we probably should have dropped in a hostel what do we need for housing housing uses 16 and 32 ouch that is a lot oh my gosh does the medieval have a hostel or boarding house option i don't think so abandoned church that's stonehenge that's ruins that's the archaeology center it wouldn't be under here Medieval services. I don't think it would be under here. There's the school. How big, how large is the school? And what are you? You're a library. Ooh, the school is fairly large. But you know what? Doggone it. It sure does fit in there, doesn't it? Wow. Okay, maybe we'll put a school in next to whatever that is. Okay, we can do that. So let's see, there's, that's hitting it. That's coming over. And then one more right to thar. Sure, make that happen. I did not look to see if there were different facets to that. But you know what? It's all good. It is good. We'll make that work. God, that's a lot of resources for the houses. Holy nuts. Stone. Stone more than anything else. What happens if we get the bed and breakfast hostel? Oh, first of all, before we move any further, what are you? There's a medieval hostel. Oh my god, that almost looks nice. Ooh, yes. Now, I don't... What are your... Your resources are much less. Or at least you take more logs. Wow. Do we drop a hostel in? I'm almost thinking yes. Let's find out where we can put this thing. Probably on the main road. But for some reason, it's not going to let us, is it? Why can we not build? Oh, there. No, we can. Yeah, let's go ahead and put in a hostel. And I'm almost thinking maybe go closer to the cart. No, I want to go closer to the to the node. So I think we're going to drop it in right over here. Where's my road? Right there. So come across to... Come on, there. That would be it. I think we're going to make it happen, Jackson. I don't... Oh, wait. This is a first floor. I don't... Does that build on top of it or top to the... No, it looks like it goes on all sides. Shoot. Okay. Let's see how we can make this look semi-decent. Um, okay, I think we're going to put it in right over here. For some reason, it just looks extremely huge. But you know what? Downtown needs a hostel, so let's go ahead and put it in. Back to medieval. Back to housing. Back to hostel. 
you know, we need one space to the left and one space to the right. So I'm actually going to go one more over like that. I hope that's the way it works. Well, if not, we're going to mess it up really nicely. So let's put it in. Ching. And that I'm probably going to have them build first. I don't know how many that houses. It doesn't say how many it holds, but that'll be our temporary housing for now. All right, man, we need resources. Doggone it. Um, let's go ahead and first collect the 36 logs because we have no logs. I need a forester also. You know what? We'll dense tree shack at some place for, for logs. Because something tells me we are going to run out of logs real quick like. Oh my gosh, that's all we have. Oh, you know what? We might just have to clear cut everything. And you know what? Sooner than later, I think we're going to put in Dense Tree Shack. We need to get it. Because we're going to exhaust these quickly. Let's get them running. Let's um, speed it up a little more. Maybe maybe roll, go, roll to, go to five. Where can we put in a dense tree shack? Right up here? Or should we go down here? Eighteen. Oh my gosh, why do I have a road in? Take the road out. Luckily, I didn't assign any builders yet. Boom. Okay. We need to put in a dense tree shack someplace. How big is your ring of influence to there? I'm thinking right here, we're going to drop a dense tree shack. Because we're going to need... We're going to need that, the logs ASAP. So let's go ahead and grab dense tree shack. And yeah, you're going to, there's the door already. Is that the front lip? I'm always thinking that that the crane should actually go. Yeah, that is the frontage right there. I'm always thinking that the, the crane should go on the, um, what do you call it? On the road. Let's. That really does impede into our node. Should we come off of the main street there and maybe drop a tree shack right here? Oh, nuts on a biscuit. That might make sense to put the trees kind of into the mountains. What do we got on this side for mountains? Maybe we'll go into that. Down here. That's impeding in our in our node right here. That would almost work. Just trying to figure out where to put it. I think right there, that might be it. So let's go ahead and get a road coming down. We'll kind of split this right in the middle. I'm thinking maybe right between those two. So let's grab there. Come on down to there. And there's that. 
I'm just checking out my rings of influence here and there's that. And I'm not really concerned with the herbalist. You know what? Do we want to go there or do we want... No, that's that's not going to work. I'm thinking right here. That might be our ticket. Do, 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 do. Dun, 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 dun. And I really don't want to get in. Maybe right there. Yep, I think I'm going to go on this side because I think we got a little bit more and I'll leave that open there. So let's go ahead and actually drop a road this way. Like that. And then we got something to play off of with the... Um, We got something to play off of as far as a border goes. Doggone it, man. I really hope I didn't mess things up. What am I looking for? Tree Shack. Baldur's Gate is a very tricky game to get working. I think I'm going to put my door to the road so let's flip 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 okay that's there come on over this way right there and now are you gonna jump on me yes you jumped up one okay don't want that Come back here, come back here, come back here. And knowing you're going to jump up one. Actually, that's it right there. So boom, boom, it went up one. And I still have my road going between the two there. Yep. Perfect. Awesome. Now... Put a pause on you because I don't want them to run across the river or the creek. And let's go ahead and take out any roadage that we put in over here on this side. Boom. Okay. I never paused the creek plank bridge over here. But you know what? I'm not going to be concerned with that. It's it's minimal for what it takes. What I want right now is the hostel built. And I can close you. I'm already going to go ahead and throw four of these guys on builders. And as soon as we get 36 logs and 12 stone... Then we're going to go ahead and, yeah, see, they've, they've already got the, the foundation laid for that. This is going to be tricky. I'm almost wondering if we should have gone with a medium-sized map. But you know what? I'm, I really want to get, get it done. Oh, wow, we, gotta, we have more logs than we know what to do with. Okay, oops, let's cancel Cancel the removal of logs. And let's get some stone action going here. So stones. Doo -doo -doo. Perfect. And we don't need that many. Actually, we don't need you either. Let's just pull that out. We don't have a woodcutter. Okay, so let's we'll look into the um, we'll look into settlers to see if they've got a woodcutter. 
18 stone, that should be enough to get our, our hostel going. Boom. Make it happen. And then that's, once they get a house, they're going to be happy. Oh my God, they've already built the bridge going across. That's kind of awesome. And actually, I'm going to build the road because I want them to, um, to expedite stuff going back and forth. Okay, let's... Do, 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 do. Is this my blacksmith? No, it shouldn't be the blacksmith. You're the cloth. Did I ever put a blacksmith in? Butcher shop? Bakery? A school? No, we didn't. So we still need to drop in a blacksmith, and we need to drop in a tailor. Okay. I'm thinking blacksmith might go on this side over here. And maybe put the tailor in over here by the cloth vendor. So let's go ahead and while they're doing whatever they're doing, we'll grab a blacksmith. And we're going to drop blip. That's where we want it. Right there. Okay, so cha-ching. Drop a blacksmith in. And I am almost not opposed to them building the blacksmith right now. And did everybody move in? No, it looks like we still have some homeless people. So how many families moved in? One, two, it looks like two families. Eight children. We should probably get them educated. They're cold. Of course you're cold. So we need a woodcutter. Against our better judgment, we are going to need a woodcutter. Let's go ahead and get some roadage going in. Um, at least to there. Oh, nuts on a biscuit, crap on a cracker. Where are we going? The blacksmith. Do, 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 do. Woodcutter. I think the woodcutter has to come out of the settler set because I, I don't think the medievals have one. Uh, barns and storage, no. Here, a salt mine. They, you know, they got a salt mine, but they don't have anything that cuts wood. Oh my gosh, they got a full-size tavern? Oh yeah, baby. Where are we going to put that? I think maybe that's going to go right here. Skip one. Boom, right there, baby. And then maybe put the cloth shop next to it. Yeah, we'll do that. We can drop you right there. We got us a tavern. And the tailor was going to go next to that. Oops. Are you my tavern right there? So I don't remember. Oh my God, I don't remember hitting pause. I'm having an old man moment. Let 
right there. Make it happen. Okay. Let's um woodcutters. Let's go to the settler menu, see if they got something. Resources, services. How about resource? Anything for wood cutting? No. The nut grove gives us logs and walnuts. That might have been a better option. Then the, um, this might have been a better option than the shack, the dense tree shack. Take out the barn, put in a nut grove right here, and then... I don't know how many logs this thing is going to produce. And then we can put the barn kind of in the middle between the two to act as a buffer. Maybe we'll do that. So let's go ahead and take out the barn against my better judgment. And we may as well go ahead and lay this road out also right to there let's grab the um, the loggy thing that this thing makes do, 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 do. and you know that is a technical term right there too a loggy thing and is that our is that the one we've been working with no no I guess that's it. Okay, and come off of this building. Ah, nuts on a biscuit. Right there. Make that happen. And we're probably going to want to build this one sooner than later. Just to get those those nuts coming in, or the, the logs coming in. So let's let them go. I'm going to let them build that. And maybe put the, the storage barn right out over here. Let's see if that ring of influence sticks around. And we're going to grab the medieval storage barn. And we were going to work with the small one, which is the three by three one. And I'm going to do the flippy thing, and I'm going to stick you right here, like that. Or do we go in here? I'm thinking we might have to go in here. That way they're not. That way they're not, what do you call it? Traveling too far. And we need a stockpile too, don't we? Doggone it, doggone it, doggone it. Okay, I'm going to go outside. We're, we're going to have to do some running around here. So I'm going to put you in right there. I'm going to grab a stockpile for over here. And we're going to actually go a three by three right there. Boom. Two, three, three. Boom. Right there. And I'm going to let them build those items. We need more housing. Did somebody just die? No. Firewood. That's one thing we were going to look at. Okay, they just took all the food and probably ran into there. So that means we're going to need some food producers. I'm going to do gatherer first. And 
we're going to have to just throw people into there. And let's see what we can do about a woodcutter. Maybe put a woodcutter out over here too, kind of outside of the town area. And did the settlers have a woodcutter? I don't think they did. No. Deco paving services. They wouldn't have a woodcutter under services. A chapel in a school. We might have to do that, but not right now. Let me see. what. Where are we going to pull our, maybe the bed and breakfast one. A bed and breakfast doesn't have a woodcutter. Does, it's the other one we were using. You know what I'm thinking? I'm thinking maybe just grab one of those single stumps and put them in down here. Maybe we'll do that. We'll do, we'll do the itty bitty ones. And so that's going to go under here. And no, it's not. We want woodcutters. Well, woodcutter. And I want just the real itty bitty one. There it is, a tiny for two. And I'm going to take you, and you're just going to make us a little bit of wood. And I guess I'm going to put you next to the cart. Just like that. And you know what? They can build that out already, too. All right. We're making, we're getting progress. I don't need this up anymore. The nut grove, they're going to put all that. Where are my resources? I actually, we're doing good for resources. And there's the tailor. The, oh, they built the blacksmith already. Awesome. Well, I'm going to set it for rough tools because that's obviously going to be the first thing we're going to start with. Close this down because we don't need it yet. We will, but not yet. Let's come over here. They're still going to build this road out here. And you know what, doggone it? No, I'm going to let them build the gatherer first. Because as soon as I open that, they're going to forget about this and go there. Uh, Marlene and Saskia, if you are there... I just want to let you know that I can't see you in chat. I've been working with Baldur's Gate to try to get that up and run. Okay, they got the foundation down, so that's good. Now we can get laborers bringing this over. Doggone it. I wanted to catch eight students for school. Okay, it doesn't matter. Are you my school? Yes, you are. Oh my God, you need a lot. You need iron. Ouch. Okay. We may have to go to the mountains for that. And I think the nearest mountain might be this one right over here. So let's go ahead and finish building this out. And I don't know what kind of housing I'm going to throw out here yet. But we'll we'll figure that one out. 32 logs is not a lot. I need to make sure I get... Is this my... Yeah, that's the nut grove. So that's going to get us some logs. Awesome. And I'm going to put somebody in there right away to start planting trees. So, cha-ching. Let's go ahead. Nut grove. Log limit. I actually don't even want to limit. Get me as many logs as you can. So, cha-ching. I know you're going to be, <laughs> be walking for a while, but... 
It's all in the name of the town. Okay, and do you have an insert? Yes, you do. Okay. Let them build that out. This is weird. I'm not usually used to keeping a big gap like this. But it is what it is. Okay, now we can get... I'm actually going to put two people into hunting. And we are not going to have a food limit either. And I'm going to put two people into gathering. There we go. And as far as their housing situation goes, I'm, I know I need to get them some closer housing. I probably should have put the, you know what, I should have put this inside there. Let's see what we can get them for housing. I don't want to go to the to the forest homes that I always use because I always use them. I'd like to give it, keep it a little bit different. Yeah, if I would have thought this out, I would have put the barn and stuff over there. But anyway, I digress. Settlers, what do we got for housing? Do 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 a cottage and a hut. I think we might do cottages this time. So let's do flippy thing. That is not the color we're using. That is, and are there different variations of this? There are. This one has the door straight out. And this one has the door a little bit recessed? No, see, there's a double right there. Oh, man, we got three different ones? Okay, there's one, two, three going to the main house. That one is almost right on the road with a little eave going over. And that almost looks like it's a little further to the road. One, two, three... I don't know what I'm looking at. I think I'm going to go with this one. I don't know why. Probably because it kind of looks like the other. That looks more like them. I see what they did here. The roof is coming off. No, that's what we want, I think. Yeah, that looks like it matches. So how about we put one right here. So cha-ching. And is that the one we're using? That is. Okay, flip, flip. And come on down over here. Right to there. And you know what? I'm going to let them build those two houses also. Just because we need housing. And for those of you that have nothing to do, let's go ahead and collect some resources. Oh my gosh, what is all of that stuff? No, we're not going to do that. Let's get trees. And we may as well pull that. Why can't we get that batch of trees? I don't know. And if we had to, I, I don't want to do it yet to go down there. But I do think we're going to try to get as much trees out of here as possible. Any more over here? Yeah, we got some over there. That's it.
tools because you know we're going to have a tool crisis. And do we want to put kids to school already? I'm thinking we do. Clothing. Wow, we have one article of clothing that everybody's going to fight over. So let's get the tailor up and running. Oh, man, 12. I think housing right now is probably more critical than the, um, the tailor. Because if we have to run around naked for a while, by golly, we're going to run around naked. And we're going to enjoy it. Eight, so I need four homes. Another hostel might work. I don't know, man. Should we do another hostel? Like right over here? Let's see what we got. Because I know I'm going to screw it up no matter how I put it in. And let's start off with the first floor. Flip. And this is going to open to this side. And I think we want to go three. Unless we just want to connect them. And just make one big host a single story hostel out of it. You know what? I think we're gonna go right there, just like that. And just keep it a single story. Let's do it. And then they can build that right away also. What's our laborers look like? We got two laborers. We still got some builder action going on. You know what? So for the builders, why don't we get them started on, let's take Main Street down to here. Come on down to Thar. And I think we're just going to go with a wooden bridge. You know what? Or should we go stone? I think the stone bridges look nice. And this is the one we used last time. Tiny stone bridge. That, that's that got cuteness written all over it. Boom. And I don't know if I want them to build it yet. I don't think so. Not yet. Because right now our stone is valuable. Oh my gosh, and we're already hungry. We knew that was going to happen. Am I going to kill these people right off the bat? Let's see. You just don't have food in your house. That's what it is. So we're going to give them an opportunity to still collect some foods. Let's see, where's our collect wild foods? Collect herbs, collect flowers, fodder. There it is, collect wild foods. Wow, not much. And what do we got in town over here? <laughs> wow. That... There's something wrong with that picture because the land out at Solvang really is plentiful, I guess you could say, when it comes to resources. Okay, so far nobody is, what do you call it, starving. So I'm not really sweating it too much. Now, <laughs> spoke too soon on that one. Oh my gosh, we're losing people. This is not going to be good. This is not going to be good. 
Well, maybe today wasn't meant to happen. Okay, I don't know where they're running off to. Maybe get some firewood action going. One person in there. Get us some firewood. Oh my god, everybody's starving now. Yeah, this, for some reason this build didn't work out well. And there they go. Avery. Huh. And there goes our population. How much time are we into this game? 34 more minutes. So we're an hour and a half into this game. Oh, shoot. I mean, we can recover from this. We just got to let it play out. I'm almost wondering if we should have done fishing right away. I don't know, man. Something something went wrong. In the initial build. And I can't... The thing is, I can't see who's doing what. What's our population? We still have seven adults. Do, 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 do. Okay, so now we need to prioritize Nut Grove. We can actually put the Nut Grove... You know what? I'm going to let, let them... Let's pull all of our builders and get everybody into a production type building. And then we'll see how we'll see what we can do from there. I'm not giving up faith yet. We've recovered from much worse than this. So we're going to see what we can do. And because we got our food producers out looking for stuff. And you're bringing stuff into the barn. What do we got in the barn? Flowers and oh, wow. Everything we don't need. And what's in our cart? Flowers and... Oh my gosh. Well, I got it. They're not the brightest crayons in the box, are they? Because quite frankly, I would be out looking for, for stuff. Maybe get a fisherman up and running, too. And let's see how many people we got out here. We got two and two. Oh, and there's a person in the Nut Grove area. So I'm almost thinking let's put a fishing dock right up here. And I'm not going to use the one from the dock menu because that's an overkill one, which we probably should be using. But we're going to go into settlers, going to go into the resources. I'm going to pull the fish out of there. Going to do the flippy thing and come on down here. And I guess... I guess that's it right there. That's not a lot of water. Or, yeah, it's not a lot of water. But you know what? That's our best point. Well, except for maybe up here. But we're not there yet. Well, I guess we're going to have to make that work. Once again, it's not the 
best thing that we got going on, but it is something. Oh my gosh, we got more starving people. You would think that they would be hunting. By the way, are there even animals on this map? I don't think there are. Is that almost looks like a cacti? Yeah, this ain't gonna work out. Something's not going well for us here. There's no animals. I have no idea what we're hunting. So if I had to do this build over again, which I just might be doing, I think we're going to go with maybe some carts to begin with. Four adults. Well, they must be working right there. No laborers. Yeah, I have no idea what's going on here. Still no food. The houses have no food in them. <laughs> There's that demon child again. Holy nuts. Or we're recycling the names. Well, unless the demon came to visit. Hey, we're in coming up to spring. Oh my god, they got food in their house. Oh my gosh, is this going to be our our saving grace? And they're a young family. Demon. Wow, that's scary. That somehow demons survived all of this. I mean, this is the making of a, of a horror movie right now. Holy nuts. If we pull through from this, I think we deserve a medal. Anyway, now they're, <laughs> they're out of food again. His demon probably took it all. Oh, are you producing anything? Fodder. Jeez. Oh, Come on, people. Well, there's a promising sign. Our hunter killed a pig. And the gatherer is getting a few items. And both of the houses are no longer hungry. Wow. Maybe, just maybe, we can save this whole thing. We're going to need some kids being born. What is your status you're a young family also. So if we're lucky, we might get two kids out of this group. Okay, let's... We still don't have a laborer. Firewood, I'm going to pull you off of firewood. Well, that's because we don't have any wood. Boom. Okay. And you know what? Let's get you building that fishing dock. Because we can use the food, the additional food coming in from that. Wow. Oh, there is an animal right there. What is that? Let's go say hello to our animal. It is it a boar? It does look like a boar. Okay. Well, that's where the pork came from. Oh, man. What a start. 
Fishing dock is almost done. I'm going to leave that up there because as soon as this gets built, I'm going to throw somebody into there. Maybe get a road coming down. Wow. And I'm probably going to give them their own little storage up here. Because I don't want them to have to carry the fish all the way down to here. Let's see if we can fill in a little bit of road over here. Oh, it's already filled in. Awesome. Okay. Wow, that was scary. You know what? If I had to do this over again, I probably would have started a node right here where their cart was and then build out from there. But I was too focused on the whole downtown Solvang thing going on over here. There's a child. Okay, we are starting to procreate. Let's go ahead and pull you out of builder mode. Boom. Let's find out where this road is going to take us. Boom, right there. And up to thar. And I think we're going to go ahead and throw a fisherman in for now. I don't know how productive that fisherman is going to be. And we were going to build him a little storage facility. And maybe put the storage right over here. So should we go with the mini on that one? Let's see what we got. I think the settler ones were a little... You know what? Medieval has a, uh, a tiny one. They've got the, the tiny, which is that. I think right there. So let's flip it. Flip, flip. And put you right. Nah, you won't go there. Right there. Hmm. Right there. That might work. Yeah, maybe right there. And we'll let him build that out. Well, he is producing some fish. That is promising. Do, 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 do. And I think we're going to pull him off of there. Well, we got to pull somebody off. How's our food doing? Our food is non-existent. Wow. Well, now we got 66 food. Maybe pull the hunter for right now until we can build that storage facility. And we don't have any logs. How much do we need? 16 okay let's let's get a couple more trees coming in and is this guy producing logs yet yes he is Awesome. Or she. Fodder thatch. Oh my god. Why, 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 why? Don't deal with fodder thatch. Oh, we were going to put a perfumery in. I guess we don't have to sweat about the... Um... Uh, 
we don't need to sweat about a tailor <laughs> for a while. Or the perfumery, for all that's worth. I'm going to have to go back and figure out where we went wrong with this whole build. Okay, he's putting in that. Let's speed it up. Kill him a little bit faster. Okay, he's fishing. We got that going on. There are no logs. I don't know where the logs went. We do have firewood. But I'm going to need my hunter people. Well, now I've got logs. So this guy still produces during the winter time, which is good to know. Yeah, we're getting a good we're getting some good logs in right now. They're going to build this thing, then that's going to cut his movement down. He's done. So what I'm going to go ahead now is I'm going to take him and put him back into the hunting shack. Going to try to build up our food a little bit more. And when they're not doing that, they can already bring Taylor. I think that's going to be the next thing we focus on is clothing. Hopefully the hunter's going to make some leather for us. And maybe, just maybe, fill in some roads over here. Oh man, this was... This was a sad start. Yeah, this was, this was a really sad beginning, <laughs> and that was very unintentional. But we need to get our people making some, some babies. We need to get baby making going on. I think I'm going to start collecting some of the iron ore, just so we could get our get ready for rough tools because everybody knows this game is notorious for a tool crisis and that's actually going to mean i have to pull somebody off of their job let's see if this gatherer outproduces the hunter of course, this really isn't fair since I just, wow. Okay, this is good. That was a good season. That was a good season. Are you redeeming yourself over here? We'll give them a chance to catch up. You know what? And I'm looking at, wow, we are not happy and we're not healthy. Ha! <laughs> we suck. Okay, here we go. Let's get the herbalist up and running. Well, at least get it built. I wonder if this is even going to produce anything for us. And I think I'm going to pull my... We should probably pull the fisherman. What kind of fish we got in here? 164? Yeah, I'll pull the fisherman and let him build a couple things. Boom. So we're going to build an herbalist here. And we're going to build a tailor over here. Tools. How my tools doing? Two tools. Yeah. I think before we even get any further... 
let's give ourselves a buffer on the tools. We're going to need a smelter. I'm trying to think, where are we going to put the industry area? Do, 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 do. I think we're going to have to prioritize the iron ore. Let's go ahead and where's my priority? Some iron ore over here. Boom. Boom. Okay. And we're low on something. Yeah, tools. Okay, got to get the iron ore, buddy. Hopefully you're not building that herbalist thing out here. Nope. There you go. Are you going to grab some iron ore? Oh, yes, you are. Yes, you are. Don't know where you're running up there for, but... Boom. And now the blacksmith needs to come grab that. <laughs> come on. Well, this is going to be a very, very challenging game. And once again, I notice I didn't put any storage areas in here. So maybe storage is going to have to go on this side. Come on, one tool left. Where's my blacksmith? You should be making tools, buddy. Do we even have a blacksmith in there? I cannot see. There we go. Oh my God, she's banging away. There we go. She is making tools. Awesome. You go. You go. Make them tools for us. Eight. Good. We got a buffer. And we didn't go into the negative. Not a lot of banished players can say that. Because a tool crisis just catches up to you so quickly. 13 tools now. And the problem is, I, those tools are not going to last long. I'm almost wondering if we should drop a cart or two in over here. Maybe put a couple carts next to the hostel. I don't know. Oh, now we're at 800 food. Okay, we're we're we have we have recovered nicely. So, we need to focus on some stone next. 22 stone. What are we low of? Firewood. Okay, well, we can deal with that. Do we have a body to put in? We do have a body. Boom. There you go. Oh, and we got us another child. Awesome. Floria became a laborer. Okay, so we are, I think we have, we have overcome the worst of it. Let's come back over here where all our production is going on. All three buildings are producing. We don't have the fisher person in because we're working with the blacksmith. I think I'm going to pull the blacksmith as a laborer and start working on maybe getting some more if I unlock these two, I can at least get the logs that are there. So maybe we'll do that. This has got 11 resources on it, so we'll grab that. This has got 10 resources, so we'll grab that. And 
and put a pause on you again because they should clear those out in a perfect world. I think we're done with firewood for now. Man, you really got to micromanage these people. And I'm putting a pause on that because I don't want them to, to bring anything over there yet. Here. Still got a couple things that we can pull off. There we go. The tailor is getting built, which is good. Because right now we're running around like a bunch of nudists. I think I screwed up on the tailor. Doggone it. I'm looking at the way they're building it. And the opening should have gone to the inside medieval services. No. Taylor. Flip. Flip. See, that's how it should have gone in. Oh, man. Let me see how that's going to look. No, that I think I want it looking like that. So, doggone it. Doggone it. Okay, my bad. Well, fortunately, there was no harm, no foul on that one. Let's go ahead and grab this. Let's come back up to services. Let's come back here and actually put you in the way we want you, which is like that. And there's not different facets on this one either. So in you go. Boom. Okay. Okay. Let's get rid of this. And how's our herbalist doing? Well, by golly, all we got to do is build it. Oh my god, and we're falling down to two and a half hearts. Oh, that's painful. I think we're going to build it. Yeah, we, we don't have much choice on this one. All right. Oh, wow. Now they're popping. It didn't sound good, did it? They're popping out babies. They're in the baby making business now, which is probably good. And you know what? Okay, that's done. So the first thing we're going to do here is actually put in an herbalist. I'm going to take the limit off of that. And this is going to sound kind of silly-ish. But one thing we may want to put in is a trader. And the reason I'm wanting to put a trader in is in case we run into a situation where we need something, maybe the trader will bring it for us. We'll see. Okay, but right now things are going well. We need to get this Taylor thing up and running. I'm actually going to put the one laborer into builder mode. And of course, he's going to knock out those roads first. But that's not a bad thing. We'll let him do that. And another thing is, at least we're not hurting for housing. <laughs> that's one thing that can be said right now. Is that we got housing. Let's see if we can priorite the, um, and you know what? This is a long 30 minutes. Do, 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 do. Five more minutes? Wow. And I still don't know if my chat is working or not. It's one of those doggone it moments. Okay. Anyway, let's do 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 do. 
Well, our little grove over here is producing for us. That's a nice thing. We're getting materials in the stockpile. We're getting food and such in the storage barn. How full are you? Oh, you're only a quarter. That's good. That's good. Boy, but our food sure did take a dive. We went from 700 down to 400. Okay, so that's telling me we probably need more food producers. Or it was just the season that caused it to go down. We'll let it play itself out and find out what's going on. Okay, it looks like this is starting to go in. Stone, yeah, they got the stone for it. Cool. Tools are still doing okay. And we're probably going to need to find out where we're going to get more of our resources from. I'm not ready to open up anything over here yet. But... Hmm. Man, this little node right here is what's really keeping us alive. We're out of firewood again. Oh, I got it. And do I have a laborer? Well, we do now. I don't even know what my builder is doing right now. On that note, yeah, well, late spring. Do, do, okay, let's pull you off of that and um, get our little stump thing working over here again. Boom. Get us fuel. I will keep the limit on 200 just in case I have an old man moment and fall asleep. Do, 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 do. Yeah, trading post. That might be something we want to entertain sooner than later. Mm, and I'm almost thinking of maybe running a dock across here. But I, you know what? I can't build a trading post right on our, right there. I think the settlers actually have a trading post in there. I know the medievals do not. Here's the medievals. Nothing there says trading post. Granary. Nothing here. Wow. A washing place improves happiness. And for some reason, our health is going up. And the only thing that I can account that for is that we're getting a very good combination of protein, roots, and veggies. We might want to get some vitamin C going before we get scurvied out. Washing place, how big are you? You're kind of biggish. But you know what? I might want to put you by the hostel. One, two. Maybe put you right there. Yep. I'm thinking that's our winner. Because we need some happiness action going on. And we'll put you up here just so we can watch your progress. And there is our two-hour timer. No Marlene, no Saskia. We starved our people. Oh my god, Solvang is not off to a good start. Let's go ahead and get a 
who can we sacrifice for builders? Man, our food just is not coming in. We almost can't take anybody off of food. One hunter, one gatherer. Let's take the herbalist off for now. Make the herbalist a builder. And hopefully, what are you going to build first? You're going to build the tailor first? Well, that's only 20 wax. Of the, no, it's not. That's 40 wax of the hammer. Okay. And then we're going to need to entertain some other food sources coming in. This one thing alone here is not going to do it. I'm almost thinking pull the um, pull the shack and drop another node like this right under this one. Maybe use this round area right here for a second one. And then maybe get a little bit of manufacturing stuff going on here. I think that's what we're going to do. And then I just got to figure out where we're going to put the roads. Put the road in. Because it's nice that this thing does produce a variety of foods. Could have lined it up a little bit nicer. But you know what? I'm not going to let that bother me. I always say that, and then I go in there and change it. <laughs> How silly. Okay, let's, let's get rid of that. We're not going to do the dense tree shack, yeah, because what I would rather have is something that produces more food for us. And maybe bring a road down through here. Let's come over and see what's kind of... Yeah, we can bring the road down down through here. Can we? <laughs> I don't know. Yeah, that's what we're going to do. So I'm going to pause it because I don't want them to build the road. But just to lay this thing out, let's bring you down like that. And let's go ahead and figure out where we're going to put, what do we want? Resources? We Let's start off with, that's the herbalist. No, I don't want to start with the herbalist. But you know what? We might have to. Doggone it. Shoot, that's the wrong thing to start with because <coughs> that doesn't tell me where my my ring of influence for this thing is. What are you? You are the um, you're the nut grove. Why don't we do that? Nut grove is this thing. And I guess we're gonna go in the same direction. I don't know why, but, and we want to stay clear. So I think we're going to come down to here. How many across are you from there? One, two, two over. So I'm going to come down to here. Maybe come down one more. Boom. And then go, nope, that ain't going to work. Come over to one, two. And are you going to jump on me? Oh, you did not jump, did you? Well, that's okay. That, that'll work. Let's grab the road and put a road in right here. Boom. And then we can build off of that. So next to the nut grove, we're going to go ahead and put in the hunter up here. 
So let's go back to Settlers. Go back to Settlers. Go to Resources. Grab a Hunter. Ah, shoot, I didn't. Once again, this is the least important thing, but I want to keep my colors right. Right there. Put you in. Once again, before I let it bother me, I'm going to fix it. And let's go back to Settlers. Go back to Resources. Grab that Nut Grove. Make sure we got the right. There she is. Boom. Boom right there. Boom. Put it in. Put a pause on that. And it looks like we got us a gatherer underneath that. So there's our gatherer. Do we have the right colors? Right there. Flip, flip. And come on down. And we split that in half like that. Oops. Right there. So cha-ching. Put the gatherer in. Next to the gatherer, we had the herbalist. Now we can put the herbalist in. Get the right, is that the right color pattern? There she, I think that's it. Flip, flip. Yeah, that's it. Flip, flip. And that one's going to go right off the road. Like that. And what else do we have? We got a couple houses we can do with houses. But the problem now lies in that that road is going to block our house. So I'm just going to put two houses right here. And I got a plan for this area. Like a happiness well. <laughs> Or maybe a well that attracts nomads. But I, we might have to go for slow grow with this one. Let's go ahead and grab a couple homes. Houses. We're going to do this one. There's the right color. Flip, flip. And was that the one? No. I think we're going to grab this one. But that color. And there's one. And now let's go. Doom, 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 doom. Oh, that's it. No, it's not. That's it. Flip, flip. Come on down. Right to there. And cha-ching. Put that in. And there is our second node Two, four. Actually, we're going to need more housing than that, but for now, that's what we're going to fly with. And I am probably going to put in some kind of, Who had the well? I think... No. Yes. Oh, that's a washing place. It's not a well. You know what? I might just grab a generic well. Maybe do the roadside one or the roadless one. And put it in right there. We'll see. Well, or we drop in a nomad well. And I don't really want them building that road right now. So what's our labor force? Yeah, we're doing good. Why don't we? Um, you know what? Maybe the road can go in already. We'll just take this much out and we'll take out that. And one thing that we can already put in over here are the inserts. And do houses have inserts? Yes, they do. I don't think I got them in up here into these. Yeah, maybe I did. Okay. Let that let them fly with that. 
and then we got to figure out where we're going to put we may want to put another stockpile and storage barn here and it looks like we're going to put another creek plank in right here so let's go ahead and prepare for that one because that's not going to take a lot of resources and we're going to come right off of here boom put it in okay and let me get rid of all this stuff it looks like our washing place is in which is good so now they're going to be happy and wow we can upgrade I'm not really concerned with upgrading right now. Right now, I just want to get their happiness up a little. And tools, we're still doing well. Let's go ahead and get a person in here. Hide coats. We don't have a town hall. Oops. We may have to go with the town arrival. Just because it's small. You know what, doggone it. I'm going to build the one I like. Don't know where. But uh, yeah, I think I'm going to put it right next to the hostel. Because it's kind of like a welcome thing. Yeah, I should probably go right here to kind of welcome everybody in. Yeah, maybe kind of, sort of. But it doesn't attract nomads. But I, I've got a fix for that, too, if I if I build it right. What was I going to put in right now? I was going to get a person on this because, boom. Close limit, that's cool. What's our leather count look like? Any leather here? No leather. Okay. That's not good. Let's come over here. Any leather in here? Six. Man, this really, 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 really sucks. We're getting flowers. Oh, man, I should have put the perfumery in. And then put that further out. Dog got it. Okay. I you know what? I I'm almost wondering if I should do another a re a reboot for this one. We'll see. Because a lot of things didn't turn out the way I expected, especially with that massive starvation in the beginning. That did not work well at all. How are we doing for firewood? Yeah, we could pull you. Boom. All right, get them running. Town hall, that would really help. Kind of give us an idea what we got. That's what was missing in our Easter build. We did not have to deal with fodder thatch. Or the... Um, We didn't have to deal with the fodder thatch or the um, flowers. Oh, God, how badly is that going to bother me? Let's get into some, where are my, um, my precious things? No. No. Okay, um, flax, a florist. He'll search for flowers. I don't want flowers. Log foresters. Where did we see the luxury items? Who makes luxury stuff? Doggone it. Doggone it. I, I don't want to spend forever looking for this. Refined resources. There, that's luxury. There's perfume. Oh my god, and you need everything. There we go. That's more basic. A five by five. 
where can we put you? Maybe, 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 maybe just next to here. Like right there. Actually, you're going to have to go over a little bit further. No, we're not going to. I don't think we're going to drop in. We're going to keep that single story. And so you would go right there. Oh, that is the backside, isn't it? Oh, no, there we go. And do you have different facings? Oh, you're a dirtier looking building. Wow. I don't know. Maybe next to the blacksmith is where you belong. There's that. There's that. You know what? I think I'm going to drop you in right there. Yep. Okay, that's going to use up our flowers. We probably want to put a bundling shed in someplace. I'm almost thinking now that this is going to be our fish production area over here. A bundling shed might want to go right over here somewhere we'll see can we spare an herbalist we sure can let's go ahead and get our health up a little bit higher the reserve of stone is low well that's all right we're not really stoning anything right now I don't know if we have any stone in our in here. Nope. Okay. Let them get that. I wonder if the perfumery needs the stone. Housing check. Once again, we can't do that because we don't have our Let's go ahead and build, I think I'm going to build our town hall right here. And I'm going to go to my favorite, favorite, favorite town hall, which is the one nobody else likes. I don't know why, because I think it's cute. If I can find it. I don't think that's it. Nope, that's not it. It is a bitty board. Nope. 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 <laughs> Town arrival. No, it doesn't have all that extra stuff in there. Port Royal. Small pond. No, it what's not. You know what? I'll bet you that's it. There she is. Just a walking down the street. I like this one. Where's my orange? There's my orange. <laughs> For some reason, I like the orange blue. I think I'm going to go with the blue this time. Blue. Because I like the orange roof. And what I'm going to do here, I'm going to flip it. And I'm going to take the center of it right through this road here. Now, there's that. There's that. That lets me put a well right on the road. I think that's what we're going to do. So let's go ahead and drop you right there. And then I can put a well on the road. And is there one with the orange roof? Nope. Nope. 
I can't see anything now. Ah, nuts on a biscuit. I can't see my colors. Well, we're going to have to wait for the snow to clear. Oh my gosh, we are running late. But you know what? We recovered 11 tools. Are we... Okay, you have no more material to make that stuff with. I think we're going to go ahead and put in a blacksmith. Might just leave a blacksmith in full time. See if there's some more iron ore that we can pick up. <clears throat> Holy nuts. There's a lot. Okay, well, you know what? We don't need that much right away. Let's do this. Boom. Get that. Come on, Winter. Hurry up and pass so I can... So I can put my well in right there. Do, 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 do. I think we need stone. I think that might be what's hampering us. So we'll pull that. Pull that little bit. We'll pull out whatever's over here. And then I'm going to find something that's going to make us some stone we can go with the mine again and put the mine over here let's go ahead and run that road out till we hit mountain actually i'm going to pull it back a little bit because that way I can put my mine in and we'll see we'll see what we can do here to maximize our frontage. I think we're going to go with the old mines again. Because I don't want to deal with with the whole running out of resource thing. So what am I looking for? I'm looking for my old mines. Here we go. And flip, flip, flip. And I don't know how many we're going to be able to stack in here. That almost looks like where I want it. Let me bring my road all the way out. To there. And at least we can put a mine on both sides of the road. That might be, um, that's a good place to start. So there's our road. There's, come on down one. Back up? No, nope, go forward. Right to there. How far forward can we go? Right to there. Boom. Okay, cross the road. Right there. Boom. And then one, two, three. Skip. One. Boom. One. Oops. Two, three. Skip. Ah, nuts. And that's as far as we can go. Okay. And you know what? We should probably let them build those mines out too. Yeah, I'm going to let them build the mines. And then that way we're going to get a little bit of iron and stuff coming in. And iron is actually going to give us some better tools as well. So, I'm thinking this might be a good stopping point for us. Huh, wow. Okay. Well, we recovered from a starvation. We got the essential buildings put in. Our land is producing stuff that we haven't worked with in a while. And I think in the next episode, 
what we're going to do is we'll start building up our downtown area. Let's see if we can focus on downtown. Maybe get the second node up and running. Put a trading post in. And see where we go from there. If you've got any suggestions for me, I'm sorry I didn't see anybody in chat. But go ahead and leave a comment on this uh, video and I will be sure to address it. I think I'm going to go ahead and hit pause right here just because we got the green screen. And I'm going to make this a little smaller just in case it grabs this view right here as my thumbnail. <laughs> it never works out the way you want it to, but it'd be nice if it did. Yeah, I'm kind of happy. I mean, I'm I'm not happy that we had the starvation, but our health is coming up. Hopefully the happiness is going to come up. What I'm probably going to do is find some place to drop another well in out here. And I don't know if this thing is actually working or not, but that's it, man. If you enjoyed my kill off um go ahead and do what you got to like it if you're watching me on twitch please go ahead and hit that follow button if you're watching me on youtube please hit the subscribe button if you do either of those things or if you already have done those please tell 10 people about my channel if you don't know 10 people tell five people twice if you don't know five people Go out and buy yourself a hamster. Name that hamster Boo. And if you get that reference, leave a comment below. I am Grumpy Gnome. I think I'm out of here. In 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Take care, everybody. Bye-bye.